Wen Ho, Zai, Jung Wao, Gong Shandong, Li Bangju Jia, Frankie's Free Range Meat, Jiang Chang Wei, Di Yi, Frankie's Free Range Meat, Jiang Chang Wei, Di Yi. And the reason we brought back the Chinese introduction is to make it very clear to any government officials watching this that I am a socially disadvantaged business owner combining, well, uh, maybe I can't pass for Asian heritage yet, but I am visually impaired. So if I do decide to get any government funding, I only have to pay a 25% match instead of a 50% match to the fund. So I'm pretty sure being half Korean and blind qualifies me. No. Hey, I, I, need, I need someone to throw me a bone. I need someone to throw me a bone anyway. <laughs> like, the, like, like the government's ever gonna give me money. Imagine, imagine, I mean, to be fair, I haven't been that bad with, uh, with what I would say. You know, I haven't said like, <laughs> guys, I, I say this a lot, but if I could say what I wanted to say online, first of all, I'd be canceled in about 17 seconds. Second of all, I'd, I'd have a lot of fun. I would have a lot of fun. But you guys haven't, e I haven't even been able to say 5% of what I want to say. So we're keeping it to business today. As usual, Frankie Syringe Meat. I'm dreaming about Colombian girls again. Let's be honest, I talk about a different ethnicity every week at the end of the day. <laughs> Imagine I marry an Italian girl. And you're just like, Frank, all that crap talking. Uh, and we just stick with a uh, good old Italian girl. Anyway, new stuff this week as usual. I'm gonna show you guys around everything that's going on. I uh, did want to remind everyone uh, just some basic stuff like uh, we still have all the corn soy free eggs. Please order them separately. Uh, we have the order minimums for East Coast and West Coast. So guys, you know, hey, look, I mean, whatever you guys can afford to do, you know, it's a lot better if you place one order for $200 than two orders for $100. And uh, I don't know, I think there's, uh, I don't want to start this off with complaining, but as you guys know, a lot of corporate chills continually harassing my business. Um, you know, leaving fake reviews, filing fraudulent chargebacks, just stealing from me, on top of all the shadow banning and everything and stuff that I've dealt with, the lawsuits and everything. So whatever way you guys can support me, you don't have to place an order. If you can leave a positive review on Google, um, that's good enough. And then we'll have the Google pages set up for the other businesses soon. Uh, foods, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, and Frankie's Naturals. If you Google them now, you might be able to to see them so that's another way to help me out just leave a google review on the other businesses as well everything that you can see on frank .com. so since we're in kind of the main room here i'll show you guys all the non-perishable stuff that we've restocked uh, last week it was the best bar so there's chocolate best bars berry best bars vanilla best bars down here we still have some quinoa crisp left and this week uh, we have been working hard to get you guys we have the plain pemmican uh, still waiting on some new bags for this we have our granola bars, which one of you have been begging me via email to bring back. And uh, we have uh, a decent amount more of the blueberry pemmican. And the amount of honey in this, guys, is heavily reduced. It's about 10% of what it used to be, so there's barely any honey in here because it was making the bars too hard. And there's a tiny bit of blueberries. So if you, got, if you guys are very restricted on your diet, the amount of blueberry and honey in the flavored pemmican is insignificant, but the plain pemmican is just you know beef and beef fat, as strict as it gets. We've been showing you guys pretty much every week. We have the very delicious affordable beef jerky back. And this week, the, the biltong, biltong and meat sticks should be back in stock too. We still have some available in the fridge, but we're getting a fresh batch of sauerkraut and jardiniera ready. I just want to show you guys everything is in glass with bottled mineral water. This time I had my guys shred the, sour, uh, the cabbage a little thinner, nicer for the sauerkraut. And I had them cut up the jardiniera a little smaller. Uh, this can be even smaller next time, but I think it's already delicious. This next batch is going to be even better of the sauerkraut and jardiniera. Pickles are available in the fridge as well. We'll show you guys that when we go over there. Over here on organ supplements, some lemon light left. Kind of running low on that natural collagen, and we are kind of out of the, the whey protein and the flextrose. But we do have all the new stuff in, guys. We have our zinc complex, magnesium complex, multi-mineral and multivitamin. So I did a video on that if you guys want to learn more about those four new supplements. And just over here in the back, we got plenty of Frankie's 
liver detox smoothie available. We did a video on this last week as well. Very delicious. Tastes so good. Great for weight gain, meal replacement, really, really multi-purpose. Just overall a healthy whole foods drink. I'm pretty sure this is the most amount of new products we've offered in a week in a while just because I mean, and especially considering the last month, I think we've had at least 20 to 30 new products. But what I'm about to show you guys in the fridge here, you know, we got Iberico ham, that's brand new. Uh, we got a lot of dairy products that my farmer came up with this week. So a little bit to look forward to. So we're gonna go around in a circle because there's a lot to show you guys. We got the, the milk, sheet milk, kefir, all shipped in fresh this week. Uh, new product, cheese curds. So we have cheddar cheese curds and Colby cheese curds. You know, instead of paying, you know, $15, $20 for a pound of cheese, the curds are about, you know, $12 each. Over here, looks a little like butter. This is actually ghee. This is raw ghee. So our farmer took the raw butter, clarified it at a very low temperature, and now we have a 2A2 raw ghee. This is just all the other dairy products that we typically have, guys. Farmer's cheese, cream cheese, there's some heavy cream down there, uh, but what's back in stock is the farm cheese dip, which is garlic and chive. Over here, just some, some backup cheese that we haven't cut yet. We did restock the, the water kefir grains for you guys. I've been having a few tablespoons of this every meal. It's been helping me out a lot. And over here, all these other jars are the, the garlic dill pickles. Oh, well, this is the jardinera that we have available now. And then, over here is the garlic dill pickles. Uh, we did a hot dog recipe on the weekend showing you guys the pickles as well as uh, the sauerkraut. You guys can see we got all these pickles, uh, but we're running low on the jardiniere and the sauerkraut, which we'll be ready in about two weeks. All of this is just more raw butter, raw A2A2 butter, all butter here. Even more pickles. Finally restock the plain kefir in the new flavor. I gotta take some grape kefir home with me again oh let's do we'll do a little uh we'll have a little chat about the kefir before we hop in the freezer i'm holding it like this because the uh the lids aren't screwed on because if we if we tighten the lids the carbonation will build up so what we do is we tighten them before we ship them and the carbonation builds up in the shipping process so you really have to uh really have to be careful. Leave them in the fridge for about 12 hours so the, the pressure lowers and then you can open them slowly. Yeah, I think I have a screenshot on my phone we can read later <laughs> about someone complaining about the water cube. It's very funny. So if you wanna see that, skip to, skip to their review label because we're gonna probably be another 10 minutes of walking around showing you guys new stuff. We did restock a small amount of duck eggs. Our, our duck farmer has been having a difficult time with production. So these are kind of all accounted for, these duck and quail eggs. Hopefully we get more next week. Uh, this is all the raw cookie dough we have. Just made a batch of raw cookie dough. We're gonna seal it tomorrow. All the European cheeses are in stock and there's a notable price reduction. Uh, I'm kind of breaking even on a lot of these, but I just wanted to you know, increase business and get you guys affordable, high quality cheeses. What's new here is an unsalted cheese and a white cheddar cheese. So. Here we have our new white cheddar cheese. This is very affordable. I think this is like $15 a pound, one of our lowest priced cheeses. There's some Gouda here, Parmigiano Reggiano, Emmentaler. This is uh, the one year cheddar. Yeah, I missed it over here. So this is something a few of you guys have been asking for. A2, A2 unsalted hard cheese. So all of our dairy products are made without salt. Everything I think besides the snack dip. They might have put some salt in the snack dip, but you know, we don't put salt in the butter. We don't put salt in, I mean, cream cheese, any of that. You wouldn't put salt in it anyway. But all of cheeses, for the most part, are made with salt. But I mean, the, like the farmer's cheese isn't salted, but that's not like a hard cheese, and you guys were asking for this. So we got the A2A2 unsalted hard cheese for $15 a pound if you guys want to buy this. Um, I don't think it's going to last that long, so this might be the only time we do this if you guys don't buy it. And then we have a ton of fresh local ground beef. So the fresh beef stare is still available. Fresh beef share is still available where you will get a beautiful pair of bone-in ribeye and porterhouse steaks along with two pounds of local ground beef or 
you can just order the local ground beef on its own and if you select the fresh shipping option we will not use dry ice so it will stay unfrozen oh i almost forgot last but not least the famous iberico ham we finally got it ladies and gentlemen Paleta de Bolota Jamón Iberico. So this one is $25. This is the most expensive ham in the world. One quarter pound, $25, kind of crazy. But there's a slightly more affordable one, which is, uh, it's like a half Iberico breed, Paleta de Sebo. Much fattier, much higher fat content on the Sebo, and it's, it's a bit more affordable. Um, but th this is $18 for a four ounce portion. So we'll see how you guys like this. Um, you know, it doesn't really go bad and, and it stays in the seal. So we can just cut it as you guys order it. And what's going to be about twice as affordable as that, uh, we're going to get, I think I'm going to get some San Daniel prosciutto this week. Yeah, if, hey, we're selling Hamon Iberico. I'll, I'll bring in some prosciutto as well. San Daniel is the, is the highest quality prosciutto. It's made with a little less salt and aged for a longer period of time. So a lot of exciting stuff. Guys, try that out. Let me know how you like it. Uh, but I mean, yeah, we, we've been selling Iberico pork for, you know, the, basically the whole duration of Frankie Strange meat. However, ironically, we never sold the most famous part of the Iberico, which is that ham. So we'll see how you guys like it and uh, go from there. But a lot of new stuff, guys, on the website. So I separated the Amish dairy from the, the cheeses now because there's just so much. Now we have, because we have like, 15 imported European cheeses, and now we have like 15 plus Amish dairy products. So hopefully it's a little less confusing. You guys like my uh, my duct tape job on the freezer here? Turn the lights on. All right, so we have finally restocked our lamb stomach. So you get uh, a whole individual lamb stomach that's around one pound. Here are the beef testicles have been sorted into different sizes. So now when I visit you guys that have been stealing my money, I can decide, depending on the amount of money you stole from me, whether I want to throw a nice big testicle through your window or whether I want to throw, you know, a smaller one and maybe just like crack the windshield or whatever. Also over here, uh, we have our, our beef stew plain beef stew and bone broth. I did a price reduction on this, guys. Uh, these are only $15 now, which I think is an amazing price for what you're getting. You know, packaged in glass, bottled mineral water, grass-fed beef, only salt added, high-quality collagen broth. Uh, we restocked on some tri-tip if you guys are into smoking and stuff, very popular. All the steaks are in stock, ribeye strip, skirt, hanger, flank. Plenty of beef bacon over here too. And then we got some beef brisket, four pound portions over here. Yeah, the reason I wanted to try to apply for some government grants was, uh, speaking of brisket, is maybe we could get a smoker and some more equipment in here to do things like pastrami. Uh, so these are all the pork share items, guys. 10 local homemade, you know what? I'm not gonna even talk about it. Just check it out on the website. It should speak for itself. If you guys don't buy this, I'm gonna have a stroke because went so much effort went into it. But uh, next to the local pork share, we have all of our Iberico pork. Everything's available. Beautiful, deep red, purple colored pork. These are the hot dogs that we did the video on uh, over the weekend, guys. Plenty of these. I hey, look, I don't, I don't like having to sell these for $14 a package, but hopefully with your continued support, if I get my own equipment, these should be a lot cheaper. Uh, plenty of ducks available. Uh, we did a price reduction on the ducks just because I want to get them out of here. Literally half the price of all the other ducks online and these are a quality feed whereas the other ones are usually conventional. We're kind of we're kind of sold out on chicken besides the whole chickens and some drumsticks. So I'm going to try to get in some more breast and thighs in a week or two. We did restock our Wagyu ribeye steaks. Uh, so for around $45 each, I mean, it's pretty much the most affordable Wagyu online. And then these are all of our soups and stocks. I think I showed you all of these last week, so I won't show them again. Uh, one thing that is kind of new, I think I showed you last week, we have our beef thigh mist sweetbreads back in stock. And for those of you with tripophobia, plenty of egg whites. We might do a price reduction on these egg whites. We'll see, because I got too many. This is the strawberry ice cream. This is the chocolate ice cream over here. Beef heart, beef liver, not, nothing really new over here. Uh, last week, I think I showed you guys the new rib stuff. 
we have long bone short ribs, we have cross cut short ribs, and then we have uh, we have boneless short ribs over here. So three varieties of short ribs, and then we got some new stuff over here. So organ grind, lot back in stock. Beef pet food, reduced to $5 a pound because we have so much of it. Raw grass-fed beef pet food. I have way too much liverwurst, so I think we're gonna give that away this week. Uh, maybe one liverwurst with every order. And brand new product, well, here is honey ice cream. So it's, it's honey used instead of sugar with vanilla flavor. This is just the uh, regular vanilla ice cream. And I don't know what the hell my farmer's doing. He made like a, a kefir honey ice cream with kefir instead of milk. But my guys messed up the labeling. They didn't realize it. So there's some like kefir honey ice cream mixed in with the honey ice cream. So some of you might get a little surprise. And uh, no, no new lamb stuff really. Lamb kind of the same over here. We still got a lot of butter from the farm. And we have... Uh, it creeped me out a little bit. I'll show you guys. <laughs> the suit on the wall um, and we got plenty of turkeys the, tur the turkeys are now listed on the website I think we have like 12 13 and 14 pound turkeys but I mean people people don't really buy th turkeys outside of the holiday season especially outside of Thanksgiving so I think that's everything in the freezer yeah I was looking like across the room there look I was like it looks like a person on the wall yeah so a lot of new stuff a lot of things to be excited about outside of it being <laughs> 6 p.m. on a Sunday and I still haven't eaten lunch God help me. God help me, dude. Uh, hopefully, maybe if I, don't, if I don't take a nap today, my schedule will be okay. Boy, I'm exhausted. So, yeah, I mean, even even uh, all, all the new stuff, still relatively new stuff that came out last week, like bone marrow oil, and then we have the uh, the marrow cream on the Naturals website, and the, the deodorant is finally back. We have a lot of beef fat, too. We got a lot of beef fat now, so we might... Something you guys have been asking for a while is uh, a larger jar of beef tallow at a more affordable price. I got to see what we're going to do on that because the large jars tend to shatter. So we might get like a plastic container, but I don't really want to put it in plastic. So I'll, I'll think about that. We'll see what we do. I forgot to send myself my, my vlog notes and to-do list as usual, but at least we have some... Uh, some reviews that I did remember to send myself to read. Yeah, so someone left a comment on, on my hot dog recipe video. Frankie boy, I just popped open a bottle of Waterkeeper and the shit, no exaggeration, hit my fucking ceiling like Mentos in a Coke bottle, GG. <laughs> yeah, you, th there's a warning on the website with the Waterkeeper guys. Um, leave it in the fridge, get it really cold and that should reduce the pressure. But then when you open it, still like hold tight and be careful. We, we've done a few videos on water kefir and how to open it, but I can I can only do so much, guys. I can only do so much. I guess I guess we'll we'll read some reviews for you guys, real quick. Five star review for the A two A two raw ice cream. This has no business being this good. When I tell you this is bar none the best ice cream I've ever had in my entire life. I mean it absurdly good. That vanilla and strawberry are out of this world. Literally couldn't stop eating it. I have yet to try the chocolate, but after those two, I'm excited as hell. Thanks, Frankie. Yeah. Hopefully we're breaking even. Otherwise, <laughs> I didn't price the ice cream to include the absurdly expensive vanilla, which could be a problem, but we'll see how it goes. Five-star review for the hot dogs and collagen sausage shares. Hot dogs. Best hot dogs my husband has ever had in his 65 years on earth. Thanks, Frank. I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you guys are really enjoying the products. That's always been my goal is to give you guys high quality, tasty stuff and try to make it as affordable as possible. And then we got a review for the, the liver detox smoothie I showed you guys. Delicious. It really does taste like a creamy, grainy fruit smoothie with a little bit of collagen taste in there. Be careful if your goal is to use it as a meal replacement shake. The taste is satisfying, but it's easy to get hungry after drinking a full serving. Well, I usually have two or three servings when I do a meal replacement. Yeah, one serving might not be enough. The current approach is to eat normal healthy food for half the day, and this for the other half to lose weight. Also, instead of stress eating burgers and garbage, I can throw one of these shakes down. Therefore, this could help manage my weight a bit better. We'll update this review after I see how that goes. Yeah, thankfully, you know, I mean, we have a lot of bars on Frankie's Free Range Foods that you guys can use to substitute meals, especially with the beef jerky that are pretty affordable, and this smoothie is another way to do that. But you guys can watch the smoothie video I did last week for more. Five-star review for the product Pure Ocean Australian Sea Salt. 
Love the taste. Great salt. Frankie always with the best stuff. Yeah, that's the salt I use every day on my uh, on my food. Then we got an email. Someone just said, these are the best eggs I've ever had. Yeah, imagine when I have my own farm and I'm massaging the chickens when I get home from cutting up cows. Wonderful. Oh, oh this is for grass-fed roast beef, five-star review. Wonderful. My wife likes it a lot. Frankie keeps delivering high-quality foods. And I, I said this last time we read a roast beef review. When we get the temperature rare, medium rare-ish, it, it takes it from like your mediocre store-bought roast beef to like some of the best thing, thing you've ever had. The temp cooking temperature we get on that is so important. Five-star review for the bone and ribeye steak. Great. Best steaks I've bought and best meats in general. I've been following Frank for years and he's really the only seller I trust. He's been consistent in his mission and transparent other than buying directly from my local farms. I don't trust meats in stores claiming 100% grass-fed. At this point, I only purchase my meat from my local grass-fed farms. Hey, hey listen. Maybe, maybe we're going to have to open up a little farm near everyone because uh, I don't appreciate you guys buying from someone else, but we'll get into that another time. I'll get into it a little bit now. When you, when you Google local farm near you, who controls the Google search? Huh? Who's controlling the Google search? Not your little local farmer, I'll tell you that right now. So, Anyway... You guys know if you support me, the money is going in the right hands. Um, when your farm, when your local farmer is charging you thirty-seven dollars a pound for tenderloin, don't come crying back to me. Five-star review for the natural bee complex. I don't have. Hey, listen, guys, I got nothing against. I do have something against local farmers because they're they're buying that. Hey, when they got the nice new John Deere tractor and their daughter has a a thirty-three thousand dollars show pony. Hey, listen. Guys, I'm here losing my mind in my warehouse on a Sunday night. Like, please, do I have to explain this stuff? Do I have to change my last name? Five star review for the natural B complex. I don't have anything to compare this with other than energy drinks overloaded with B vitamins. It is a better solution than cheap energy drinks for sure, but I do feel more energetic with this, and less so if I don't take it. Consuming a few hundred grams of net carbs per day, including flextrose during high intensity workouts. I also take it with some zinc, glycinate, and vitamin C. Great for someone who is far from sedentary. Yeah. B complex is very important. I usually take it myself every day, too. Five star view for the organic raw sauerkraut, lacto fermented. Addictive. Hint of umami flavor. Great texture. Effervescent. Highly recommend this and the Giardiniera. Yeah, I'm glad we started doing those pickled vegetables. Um, I mean, they're not that profitable, but I, I like having something I can eat myself, too, you know? Especially uh, the cauliflower and stuff. Five star view for the A2A2 raw ice cream. Frankie Boy needs to get into the ice cream business. Am I not? Am I not in the ice cream business now? <laughs> I'm serious when I write that Frank needs to get his foot in the door with selling ice cream by the gallons. All of his other products are great as usual, but the ice cream made me think that this might be his calling. The ice cream tasted so great that I think he can give Blue Bell ice cream. Or more hey, listen, let's not get into amateur hour commercial stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, the best part is that it's made with better ingredients. I can't say, I can't, I can't say I'm a 20-year-old kid anymore, putting people out of business, but... Five-star review for the organic potato chips. Addicting. Both the beef fat and coconut oil chips are great. I can finish a bag with ease. Best part is you don't feel horrible after eating these chips. Most important thing. I'm surprised, you know, I mean, again, guys, I'm, I'm shadow banned, I'm censored. I'm, I'm the only person selling that quality of chips online. I'm surprised I don't sell out of them every day. Let alone now, but I just got them sitting in my warehouse for two months. I, I don't know if a price reduction would make a difference. Uh, I was thinking about getting a loan and getting some potato chip equipment set up in there. I mean, the whole manufacturing line for potato chips is, is about $15,000, which is a lot of money, but not in the context of manufacturing. Because if, if I get it from like a, a Chinese manufacturing company to send me the machinery, 15 grand. To get a company here to do it, 150 grand so we, we could get a little potato chip set up in here um, and that I'd probably be able to reduce the price of the chips from like 550 to four dollars but I don't know if that's worth it I'd have to sell I'd have to sell 15,000 bags of chips just to pay for the equipment which based on the current sales I don't know I don't know if that's gonna work it might might be worth it maybe they'll send me over the equipment with the Chinese bride if I keep honoring their leader 
in my introductions. Five-star view for the pasture-raised chicken eggs. The best eggs anywhere. These pasture-raised eggs are the real deal. They taste better than any other egg I've purchased. Egg yolks are deep orange yellow color. The shells are very hard, indicating that the chickens are very healthy. Delighted, no corn or soy. Also, with new packaging, Frankie is using absolutely no broken eggs. We're very grateful for Frankie and his wonderful offerings of quality products at a reasonable price, Greg. You know, you know what irritated me? When I got the when I got that egg packaging for my farmer, that means that he didn't have to pay for his cartons and stuff anymore. So he was saving maybe 40 or 50 cents per dozen on the eggs and he didn't he didn't reduce the price. I'm still paying him the same for the eggs, right? So I'm like, "Okay, it costs him more a little more labor to do it. That's fine." But what really ticked me off was he asked me for more money for the extra labor. Like, please. I'm going broke. I got I'm, I feel like uh, I'm on one of those medieval stretching devices and people are are stretching me from each limb. Please start with my head. Uh, please start with my neck so my head pops off. So I don't have to do this shit anymore. Five star view for the beef butter, beef tallow moisturizing cream. Best of the best. Excited to try the marrow cream, but this beef tallow is legit. I've tried beef tallow moisturizing creams from other brands that are twice as much, and this is a much better product. I think it may have something to do with this not being whipped versus other products that are whipped oxidized a bit. Anyway, it's great for the face, great for the hands, great for healing scarring. It's also great. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? It's also great for my Johnson. Only thing is, sometimes my lady complains that I taste too much like you fucking, fucking comedians over here, bro. Comedians, bro. Maybe, maybe if I was half of a taller, girls wouldn't mind I smelled like a dead cow either. And what would also be really fun is if I could take a different girl from every ethnicity every week over to my Amish. How funny would that be, bro? If I just took an absolute baddie from a different ethnicity every week over to my Amish buddies... And they were like, had all googly eyes. Imagine, bro. Imagine I bring like some six foot tall African girl with like just giant cans. Sorry. Let me stop. Let me get it. <laughs> I'll save that joke for another time. Uh, another review five stars remineralizing tooth powder with K2. Special product. I've tried many tooth powders before this one. This is a really special product. It does not irritate the gums, nor is it too harsh, and it leaves the teeth whiter than all the powders I have tried beforehand. Another excellent product, Mr. Tufano. I think I spoke a little bit about this next, uh, last week. Like, I'm offering better quality products at like half the price of these other, uh, these other people, but the people that control the media and everything and the sales channels for the most part, they control what you see. So people don't know about my product, and they're out spending $45 when I'm selling it for 15 and, it, and, there's, and they're buying an inferior product. So it's a little discouraging, but what else am I going to do? Five-star review for the raw sheep milk manchego cheese. Mom's favorite. My mom loves manchego. She used to love it in my, her home country and now in the States. She would frequently buy all these pasteurized manchego, but this was the best she's had, no question. It's great giving these products to loved ones and seeing their expression of nostalgia, reminding them of a time where food was delicious and good for you and not ultra-processed. Uh, we got a five-star review for the Adrenal Replenish, Adrenal Fatigue and Hormones. This is, uh, this is organ supplements. A step down from the actual organ itself, but still a potent supplement due to the nutrient preservation of freeze-drying. Restores necessary hormones to reduce fatigue. Consume some food, it can upset the stomach. Yeah, um, I, I've been doing the freeze-dried powder just because I, it's so much more convenient. It literally takes less than a minute to take all my freeze-dried powders at once, whereas if I was doing the, the raw glands, it'd be, you know, it's a 10, 15 minute ordeal. We got another five-star review for the A282 raw ice cream. Second-hand review. I didn't get to try it, but she who did absolutely loved it, throwing some Shade at his uh, his significant other for eating all the ice cream before he could taste it. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Five-star view for the pasture-raised Iberico pork sausage. Excellent. Very tasty. Smooth. No gristle. Yeah, that's another product I'm hoping. Um, maybe if we can get some equipment in here. Oh, that's the other thing I got to show you guys. For those of you guys that stayed till the end here, I'll show you guys some new equipment we got. Well, definitely not new because everything I buy is used. But if I can get additional used equipment... For sausage making and a smoker, uh, I could I could get the price down a lot on some of these products for you guys. Another five-star view for the pasture-raised Iberico pork sausage. Best pork I've ever eaten. 
These are the best tasting sausages I've ever eaten. I will order again and again. Well, hopefully I don't go to Colombia, otherwise you guys are gonna have nowhere to buy sausages. Uh, okay, now now we have a five star review for the beef adrenal glands, adrenal replenish, but this is for the raw frozen organs on Frankie's syringe meat as opposed to the previous review, which was the freeze dried supplements on organ supplements. Clean energy. I bought this on a whim to add raw organs to my diet. Started with nickel sized pieces, thawed it and ate it raw. About 20 minutes later, I got the sense of euphoria and burst of energy. Not crackhead energy, but like fasting energy and alertness, even though I wasn't fasting. Frankie wasn't kidding about it being potent. I just ordered more today, such a treat. Yeah, very special products. I'm happy to have them. Criminally low prices. Last review, finally, after sitting here for what, 15 minutes? Uh, it's a review for the chicken breast, but we're sold out of chicken breasts. Maybe we'll get some next week or the week after, so I'll read the review anyway. Chicken was absolutely delicious. It was like butter. It melted in your mouth, and it cut with your fork. I've ordered from many different companies. This is by far the best. Thank you. you look, you guys are really sweet. I, I appreciate the I appreciate all the reviews, and although I'm completely over it, you guys are the only reason I keep going, so I, I genuinely do appreciate it. I'm kind of just on autopilot right now because I got nothing else to do, but let me show you what's going on in this room over here. Some of you guys might find this interesting. So I, I was making a joke about the grant earlier. Um, you know, th there are a lot of like government opportunities for small business that I've, I've applied for. I've just never gotten them. So maybe after, after a few more years of getting denied grant applications, I can, I don't know, I can just, I'll, I'll be retired by then. <laughs> I'll, be re I'll be retired before the government gives me any money to, to but look, it's like it's like food, um, like local food systems. I'll, guys, millions of dollars have been given out to small businesses that are part of the food supply chain. I am part of the food supply chain, and that's important. Um, but they they haven't given me any money. They'll give it to you know they give it to. I don't want to talk too much about this, but uh, they'll give it to businesses that like uh, are making like just the point is. Like quality homemade local farms is not what they're supporting. They're supporting like conventional Cisco, US Foods, that type of stuff. So all that equipment I showed you guys a few times, we, we, we're getting it over here. We're finally getting it set up. We got stainless steel on the wall that they hung the hood, which is actually too small. I got a 10 foot hood. We could have used a few more feet on each side because uh, we didn't even put the other burner in here yet. So I think the skillet is gonna be to the right or something. Or uh, I think maybe, maybe the the kettle is gonna to be to the left because we don't have enough room to fit everything underneath it, but we got our huge 60 gallon kettle that we can use for our soups and stocks now. We got some burners that we can put more soup pots on and we got the tilt skillet, which is uh, very important for caramelizing and sauteing the vegetables and meat to add a lot more flavor. And those are our electric ovens that we took with us that we've had. So all this equipment, guys, I got really good prices on. You know, this I think was a uh, few thousand dollars, whereas it's like 25 grand new. Uh, same, same with this. I got this skillet for a few thousand new. It's like crazy, it's like $35,000. Uh, these burners are always pretty cheap. I think this was a thousand, but it goes for like three, so I didn't get as crazy of a deal on that. Hood, we got a huge exhaust fan to go in there too. So yeah, basically I'm getting like this type, this kitchen setup is costing me maybe 10% of what it normally would to put in something new, uh, so. You know, we're getting something reasonable done. Don't really know if we're gonna be offering new products because of that, it's just gonna be a lot easier and more efficient to what we can make now. What I also got a really good deal on, I couldn't turn it down. It was like $2,500 for this gigantic uh, three phase, like eight horsepower grinder. Uh, I don't really know if I'm gonna use this, but uh, when I get my uh, farm or, or processing plan, hey, maybe we won't even need it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really, have the have the money to be spending on this stuff, but uh, the the scenarios where I do buy stuff is like proven where uh, I'm spending so much money and labor to make certain things. Where if I like if I got to sit or my guys have to sit by a small grinder for like three hours, when that could just blast through it in 15 minutes, like okay, if the equipment will pay for itself in a very short period of time that's that's how i like to do it like um the, the sausage making stuff the smoker that might take a little longer to pay itself but if you know if i was a normal business that had a reasonable profit margin 
all of the equipment I buy would pay itself back within like a year or two. It's just I can't afford to, to, to get everything in here and set up. And we might actually run out of space if I try to put the potato chip manufacturing line in. Guys, I, I've reached out to I've reached out to every potato chip company in the U.S. and no one wants to make them for me. So I, I'm at a loss of what to do because people don't want to. Uh, I don't know. That's enough for one week, guys. Oh wait, no. Do I, should I show you guys more stuff? Not that interesting. I got a new, a new. I just like bragging about the deals I got. This is a, another label printing machine. I mean, we already have one, but I got. I wanted a backup one in case, and this one. Uh, it, re it retails for like 7,000, but I got it for two. So, but what's special about this deal is it's not used. It's actually new, but I got a used price on it. I think the guy stole it from a Walmart because there's, there's, oh, I should show you. Can I, oh, I wrapped it in plastic, so it's, yeah, no, I'll show you, look. Yeah, yeah, this says Walmart facility on it. <laughs> so if any Walmarts are missing their label printer scale, don't come looking for me. I'm, hey, look, I'm guessing that's what happened. Some guy took it from a new opening Walmart and sold it. So that's, I mean, someone's got to get the good end of the deal, right? And why can't it be me? That's funny. Anyway, that's enough. Enough for one week, guys. Can, can next week live up to the hype as much? I don't know. We got so much new stuff this week. A lot of exciting things for you guys to be ordering. But that should be it. So if you guys go to frankdashtofano.com, you will see all of my interesting and creative uh, unique health businesses from Frankie Strange Meat to Frankie Strange Foods, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. And let's be honest, guys, if I actually wanted to, I'd be in Columbia by now anyway. So it's, it's all jokes. It's all jokes. And you guys know I like just working all day every day and not having fun, evident by what's going on. But that should be it. So we'll see you guys. Um, I think this week we'll do uh, try to do a blood work update and some interesting stuff for you guys.